Well, the United Nations climate change report is out and it is a rather scary report. The earth is warming faster than earlier predictions. This report has found that the world is rapidly warming 1.1 degrees Celsius higher than the pre-industrial levels. The climate change report says the temperatures will continue to keep rising and the weather will continue to get extreme. The United Nations report has said the once in a 50 year heat waves now happening every decade. So a rather ominous United Nations report on climate change saying that uh, global warming in fact is likely to blow past the Paris limit and it is a code red for humanity. Well, there's an extremely important report coming in by the United Nations, which has taken into consideration global warming and climate change. The report's findings are alarming and perhaps should uh, wake up authorities to this rapidly increasing climate change threat. The UN report has said that the Earth is warming, warming faster than earlier predictions and uh, the Earth is warming 1.5 degrees Celsius higher than the pre-industrial levels. Okay, environmentalist uh, Stalin joins us on the phone line this afternoon. So, Stalin, how do you interpret this report? Now, this report says that the world is rapidly becoming warmer. It's 1.1 degrees Celsius higher than the pre-industrial levels and it is only going to, to continue to rise. Definitely, the scientists have put together the true facts which the world needs to know. Every global citizen needs to know this. Nothing is in isolation on this planet. When you're talking of melting of the ice, it has very serious repercussions beyond the sea level rise, which is mostly talked about. What we are conveniently forgetting is that once the ice melts, all those rock surfaces will become heat emitters and you will look at desertification of landscapes. The process of desertification of the planet has started. This is a very dangerous and we are beyond tipping point. We have to introduce drastic measures if we are to survive or allow this planet to survive. So that is the message that is going through in this report. I would uh, hope that the governments go beyond tokenism and signing agreements and really act on the ground on these things. Well, Mr. Stalin, stay with us. I just want to read out some parts of this report which has been released by the United Nations. It says that the Earth's climate is getting so hot the temperatures in about a decade will probably blow past the level of warming that world leaders have sought to prevent. Now, uh, the report co-author Linda Mintz has said that it is guaranteed that it is going to get worse. I don't see any area that is safe. There is nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. So a rather alarming finding by the United Nations uh, the United Nations. Uh, Climate change report. Uh, Mr. Stalin, just finally, given this report, what is it that we need to do collectively? What is it that the governments need to address across the world on priority? See, we have to behave more responsibly uh, as the citizens of the planet. The thing is that this government cannot enter into a mad race with the uh, countries like America or uh, Europe and say that, no, unless we, or China for that matter of fact, saying that we will industrialize like them and then we will think about cutting back because we want development. For God's sake, once your land is a desert, you lose your groundwater, you lose your water, you lose your farm, your food security, then what kind of development are you looking at? So we'll all have to take up those responsibilities. Every country will have to do it. And India has a big role to play given its population and its landmass and its biodiverse habitats that it supports and which supports food and uh, cultures of the so many people, so many civilizations which have settled here. So we have a very big role and more responsible uh, uh, role to play right now. And I hope that the Indian government wakes up and moves beyond tokenism. Again, I'm saying that this is very serious, very, very serious. Mm -hmm. Well, Mr. Stalin, thanks so much for that. Of course, this is not just for the Indian government to do. It is for leaders, global leaders across the world to take seriously because uh, global temperatures in about a decade will likely blow past the level that world leaders have sought to prevent. This is uh, the United Nations Climate Change Report, which has just been released a short while ago, a rather alarming projection uh, in global temperatures as they are set to rise more than 1.1 degrees Celsius, 10 years earlier than what was predicted.
Okay, the IPCC is uh, reacting to this report from the United Nations. Let's listen to what they have to say. Today, that human influence is already making extreme weather and climate events, including heat waves, heavy precipitation, and the droughts, more frequent and more severe. Hot extremes, including heat waves, have become more frequent and more intense since 1950s. And some recent hot extremes in the last decade would have been extremely unlikely without human influence on the climate system. Furthermore, we know that human influence has been the main driver of ocean warming since 1970s. And the human-caused CO2 emissions are the main driver of ocean acidification. Human influence in contributing to reduced oxygen levels in the ocean observed since the mid 20th century. Human influence is also the main driver of change we see in the frozen areas. United uh, Nations of the planet. report on climate change warning of uh, global warming, in fact, getting more severe in the years to come and sooner than what was earlier anticipated.